So hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the cross device matching problem and our solution to solve it using uh, Siamese uh, convolutional neural networks. Uh, so this is a work I did with uh, Anne Marie Touche and Flavien Basile, also from Crito. Um, so what is the cross device um, matching problem? Uh, so for the past 10 years, the, numbers of, uh, the number of devices that one uses has increased a lot, and one can uh, browse on a mobile phone and then buy two days later on a, a laptop. So this is a real problem for uh, personalization industries, such as the search engines, recommendation systems, and also online advertising, as it narrows down the user signal to only one device. And so the solution we propose for, for this is to link um, cookies that belong to the same person to aggregate them and, uh, same and match them. So how can we do this? Uh, so we can leverage on the data available in a cookie uh, environment. And most of the time, what we can have is, for example, the browsing history, so a sequence of uh, URLs, and also a sequence of IPs and different events. And maybe the, the, we, will have, we will also have the, the timestamp uh, of uh, each uh, event. And we will also have maybe like user agent information, such as the OS, the mobile used, uh, the browser, and these kind of uh, things. Uh, so here we can have, uh, for example, a small um, picture taken from the cross device graph in Criteo. So we see, uh, because we already have some uh, labeled pens coming from uh, clients and this kind of uh, information. But as you can see, 80% of uh, graphs are very small graphs, uh, smaller than five. So there is a dire need to uh, uh, link new users. And also what we want most of all is to, uh, when we create a new pair, to be sure that this is a, a good pair. So we want to have a high precision. Um, so what we did is we... Okay, so we develop, um, uh, we applied our methods on a public data set that was the CIKM uh, data set. So it's a, a cross device matching data set. And the, the, avail the, data, the data available was browsing history logs, logs uh, some web, ti web page uh, titles, and also the timestamps. So what we have is about, uh, I mean, so we have a list of users, a list of pairs given in training, and what we have to. Um, to give in the end is the 215 ground truth pairs in tests. And um, yes, yeah, so sorry for the, um, for the, the misspellings. So as the number of uh, potential pairs is too big, we cannot uh, rank and classify all pairs. So this is not possible. So we split the, the, the task in three steps. So the first step is uh, sequence generation. So for each um, user, we generate uh, different uh, sequences coming from the URLs and the web page titles. And we embed them using word 2 vec and doc 2 models. Uh, the, sequence, uh, the second step is uh, candidate generation. So with these um, unsupervised representations and also supervised representations such as a TF, IDF uh, kind of uh, Things we do, uh, we I mean we um, generate candidate pairs using canyonless uh, neighbors, and then with this uh, reduced number of uh, potential pairs, we um, we develop a pair ranking algorithm to uh, rank the pairs, and then we just take the top fifteen, the top uh, two hundred and and fifteen ones. So our uh, pair ranking algorithm is based on the SCAMNET structure. And um, so what we have now, so for each uh, sequence, so a sequence is a, a sequence of tokens, and each token is embedded. So now a sequence is represented by a matrix where each line is the embedded uh, token. And we use a sex CNN model uh, coming from the, the text CNN uh, paper by uh, Yun Kim. And actually, so the sex CNN module is just a convolutional network that outputs an embedding for each sequence. But as we do not have any information at the cookie level, but at uh, a pair of cookie uh, level, we have to run um, two Siamese sex CNN module. So that's what you see at the. So that's what you see here. So we have um, one sequence for uh, cookie one, and another sequence for cookie two. And uh, we run the two um, uh, sex and module. And there is now a pairwise, a pairwise uh, function layer that um, assembles the two uh, cookie embeddings. 
and then we we do uh, and then we have a fully connected layers our output layers and we output a score but also as we wanted to leverage on the different sequences generated we added a new um, a new assembling layer that we called the multimodal fusion to um, leverage on this multimodal um, information but this SCAMnet structure uh, turned out to be quite uh, tricky to train. And uh, for example, when you train it alone, uh, it doesn't perform much better than, uh, for example, dark to back similarities. And so we uh, inspired from the paper Wide and Deep to train uh, this uh, SCAMnet structure jointly with uh, previous uh, regressors that were trained. It could be uh, some dark to back similarities, but also some. Uh, uh, usual features like TF-IDF similarities and these kind of uh, things. And here, in that case, uh, the SCAMnet were very, very um, useful and the results uh, increased significantly. So for example, if we have a look at the two first lines, if we train uh, the SCAMnet structure independently and then use it as a feature, we have a final F1 score of 4256. But if we firstly train the N previous regressors and learn the scheme net jointly with the, the, the weights of the regressions, uh, the, the score is way better and we have a, like a nearly 4% uh, improvement. And uh, we also use it with uh, other um, features such as like a more complicated one, XJB, and uh, the improvement is still uh, significant. So that's it. If you have uh, any questions, uh, don't hesitate to come to the poster sessions. <laughs>